Hi, Matty, could you tell me a little bit about John Paul II? Um, well, as you all know, it's called John Paul II, and it is a small school of 160 students. It is 15 kilometres from the Hobart City, and it is also surrounded by houses and farms. And Matt, when did we get the wind turbine? Oh, we got the wind turbine this year in term two. Mm -hmm. And um, um, why did we get it? Um, we got a grant from the government and they gave us $50,000. We installed the wind turbine and six power solar panels and it's going to save us with our electricity bills. Um, Matt, Maddie, what does it look like? Um, it looks like a big windmill. It is has three blades and they're each three metres long. It is 15 metres tall and is made out of steel and it is bolted. Okay, Matt, what happens if they need to work on the windmill? Um, like they, today? Um, they have take all the oil out of the pump and then they take the bolts out and then they lower it down with like a pump. And then, and then when they fixed, when they fixed it, they um, put it back up and then um, put the bolts in. It, then all the oil goes back into the pump. Yeah, hence the um, the reason now we're actually working on it now. Um, how much power does it produce? Cool. Um, it can produce 10 kilowatts, and it can say a light bulb can be going for a thousand hours, and 700 light bulbs can go for an hour. Fantastic! That's a lot of power, isn't it? And Maddie, is that power just going to the school? Um, no, it's going to back to the energy place. Yep, the network. Yeah, the network, and yeah. Yep. And um, Matt, does it does it? What does it mean for the school to have this wind turbine? Um, it means that an um, ele electronic um, bill is a bit lower. The electricity bill is a bit yeah. lower. Yes. Anything else? What does it? What does having a windmill do for for the environment? Maybe? Um, it produces greenhouse gas and reduces greenhouse <laughs> gas <laughs> and um, and it is good for the environment. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't produce any um, um, CO2, it's just free electricity really from the wind, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, now are there any other schools in Australia with one of these? Um, no, there's no one in Australia with a wind turbine. So we're the, we're the only school in Australia? Yeah. In it's fact, I think we're pretty proud that we're the only. I think it's something really to be proud of, and in fact, I think we're the, the only school in the southern southern hemisphere. So that's a big yeah. plus for us. Okay. Um, now there's some solar panels I notice on the roof as well. Can you tell me a little bit about that, Will? Um, well, they're solar panels that we have on our roof, and they can save power for us as well when the sun shines on them. Mm -hmm. So all of this means that we, the school, can actually reduce its uh, electricity bills. And that means the power goes back into the system and we get a subsidy from uh, Aurora. It means it saves our electricity bill by about 20%. So it's quite a substantial saving, isn't it, for us? That means we can spend more money on good things in the school, apart from just electricity. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks very much for that. That's a really, really good.